Hey guys, Mark and Jeremy here. We, we sped this up considerably. Got to watch Jason Goes to Hell. Note that it's not called Friday the 13th due to uh, legal issues. But yeah, this is actually a pretty kick ass DVD it case. It is a dope cover. Like, look at that. Like, it's Jason's oh, face is getting sucked in by like demons and shit. It's not focusing on it because it wants to focus on either of our oh, faces. faces. In, the, in the back of it basically shows the whole movie and it actually talks about animated DVD screens. Yeah, it's good. animated menus. It's high tech. Um, yeah, it's Jason Goes to Hell because Paramount no longer had it. Uh, it's New Line, which leads to like the twist ending or whatever at the end. Yeah. Um, which I'm sure we'll get into. Um, I love this movie. <laughs> this is like, this is kind of what I grew up on. Like, because I, I don't. I think that if it's not the first Jason movie I saw, uh, it was early on. Like I remember, I think I might have seen the first one, and then my neighbors were like, "Oh, dude, like this one just came out. Uh, this movie's 25 years old this year, which is wow. crazy to me. It's what I always thought Jason movies were. I mean, it doesn't really have a lot of Jason in it, so I guess we'll talk about some plot. Like this movie starts randomly with Jason no longer a baby. Yeah, he's or like he's, no longer a kid, like at the end of chasing this naked lady. He's and chicken. then he gets blown to he gets fuck. Like, like Robocop for, times infinity. Yeah, like <laughs> FBI agents with pistols, like, shotguns. Yeah. First guy's like pop. She does like the flip over, and the guys stand up. They got pistols, and like the next guy shows up. He's got like a fucking bazooka, and a and bunch of dudes like got down from, from the, the trees. trees. There's one fucking guy who's got an MG. MG. He's like, <laughs> great. It's just, it just blow this motherfucker. And then they literally hell. blow him up, and like his head spins and hits the ground. Then his heart's there, and the heart's like the big focal point. And then they bring it, and we get to see Kane Hodder as yeah, a security guard, as a security like, guard, the guy yeah. who plays Jason in the and, beginning and end of. This movie, and then it turns, and I guess in some mirror shots, and, um, and then the uh, the coroner seems to get hungry, and he just wants to eat Jason's <laughs> heart. Sweat, and he's <laughs> yeah, he's saying, and that's basically what the movie is. Is it's a weird amalgamation <laughs> of Sam Raimi movies, um, Australian horror films, kind of like what Peter Jackson's <laughs> yeah, earlier horror yeah, movies were. Kind of a really mixed mash, messy version. Yeah. Of and I, I kind of think movies. that's kind of indicative. Like Adam Marcus is the director. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to claim he's a good director, but he definitely shows like kind of what directors of horror movies kind of mm -hmm. turned into. Whereas they're just referencing other horror movies. Oh, for um, sure. There's so many references, not just in terms of material. But, yeah, but like and they, how he they reference it. there's a lot there's of a Landis Sam reference, like a direct somebody's called Myers. Landis. There's they talk Myers. about the Myers house. Like I mean. John Cunningham did that in like the early Friday the 13th as well. Oh yeah, you're right. Like there was a, a little bit of that, but um, we get a direct reference to the Evil Dead where they find yeah, the, the Necronomicon, um, the end, the uh, ending, the, the tag on. Like it's got a lot of that, and even just some of the shots are oh, very homage -esque a lot of, to yeah. There's a lot of to like, uh, contemporary shots, filmmakers, like low hanging shots, really close up shots. Yeah, a slow, lot of like, lot quick of zoom ins. <laughs> that and, conversation that slowly gets closer and yeah, closer. Yeah, and there's this really random kind of homage to John Woo at one point. <laughs> it's like this slow motion, motion gunfight. Yeah, which is just oh, like, what, what is this doing here? It's a funny movie. Like some of the gore is fantastic. Oh. Like that random chick who gets ripped in half. Yeah, I mean this movie tent, that and was, that's what I mean by when I when I say this has got the Jason that I love. Like this movie is loaded with nudity and it's like the least sexist with the nudity because there's also like a fair amount of dude nudity in this. Yeah, there's like, a, the cop there's, is it's just like a, randomly yeah, naked like, and full BDSM naked, like, getting, on the table. getting shaved. There's like nudity on the guys. Yeah, and, the guy like, is all naked the sex before. Scenes. Yeah, like they it? basically dives into the tent naked before. But it's like the deaths, like that the tent scene, like the chick gets like carved up with the scalpel, and then you see her dead later, and then the chick, which I love because like they choose, it's it's it goes back to that old school like Jason is a uh, an STD where they're like we don't need this condom, and the guy like yeah, throws it on the ground, steps and then on Jason it. steps on it and then shanks them, and it's, and that's the thing, he's not Jason in this movie, he's basically a zombie weird he's like imp a, thingy that's yeah, being that transported from one part, person to another until you finally get it kind of retcons the whole Jason thing yeah, into this it's, like it's definitely thing something that possesses and it comes out like it's the thing that's on the box I guess comes out of his mouth and like goes 
goes into the next person, it's but like then like it's suddenly bigger when it mouth. comes out of the guy. Yeah, like it's it a, comes it, out of the cop, the young cop's neck. And the thing that this movie does have a bit of a similarity to to the first film is you don't give a shit about who anyone is except for Rufus from Supernatural. Yeah, Rufus. He's, he's a cool Cre badass Cre cow. Duke. Who uh, insisted on wearing uh, a, cowboy, a cowboy outfit for this. Which is kind of um, cool. It's unfortunate because his character is really cool and then he's defeated by a random trap door. Yeah, basically. So just... stupid. That's the problem too. It's like These kills are kind of interesting, but there's a lot of characters that are in this that you just don't give a shit well, about. It, like, it, there's the guy ties, who's trying... It ties with Jason X for the most kills mm -hmm. in the movie at 23. And, yeah, there's a lot of movies. There's a lot of, a lot of death, lot of and there's a lot kill. of funny ones too. But the problem is, like all these characters are either really weird caricatures or they're terrible characters. Like The main guy who's trying to save what's-her-name's daughter this whole time, mm -hmm. he looks like a cheap-ass Phil Hartman. He's a terrible character. He's a really he's just like running around doing stuff. This movie is a mess. It is a very entertaining mess. It's got a lot of energy to it, but it, it it's a fucking mess. I couldn't remember any of the characters' names. Um no. Jessica yeah, it's because the there's because right there. There's oh. we, got <laughs> we got the got credits, credits on right beyond. There. I was gonna say Steven too. I remember that <laughs> name. And I know Jason's name. Um, I don't remember <laughs> and Creighton Duke I remember. This film is definitely trying a unique idea, but the problem is by taking four he's like Kane Hodder out of Jason, we got these other people doing it and, and then even when Kane Hodder is four C four he's He's literally doing the Terminator Salvation mode of killing people by throwing yeah. Phil Hartman I mean, around that's, for that's, like a good two minutes. That's the main thing. This movie really could have used more Jason. For updated technology, for updated uh, 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 visuals, and some yeah, really the, the, the cheesy ass fucking uh, special like visual effects, not uh, practical. Practical yeah, effects practical are really Kambi good. Does it? Kambi's fucking yeah, bad. They're really um, good. But this, it's just, it's got so many, like all the death. They squeezes the head, and in the right after the shootout, he elbows the chick in the, in face, the face, and her face like walks. face folds into itself. Yeah, that was really cool. While he's um, yeah, deep frying but, but her husband. Yeah, and, yeah, but again, this movie's just, it's just a mess. <laughs> the music. It's yeah, I was waiting for awful. it. Wow, the music it is it's terrible. Great. It is literally the same. Not, so it's not going to end up on listening to the movies? No. Fuck no. <laughs> Brian Fidel did the soundtrack for Terminator 1. He went a little bit off the deep end with that soundboard, but at least it was entertaining. And this one is literally just the same three oh, fucking the, yeah, keys. The same thing over, over and, and over, over like again. Every, every scare thing is just... And then, yeah. especially at the beginning too, when there's like this low ambient music, when the guy's doing the corner stuff, and then it cuts to the credits or like the, the opening titles, and it's the da, same da, da, sound. Da, 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 da. It's, it's like, what is this? He, '90s medi. Like he it's took maybe ten dumb. minutes to make this music, and he composed a grand total of five. And it's five, Harry Manfredini as well, which is, which is there's no real excuse for it. He's no, better than that. No, it's terrible. It's the worst soundtrack out of all of the movies. Oh yeah. And the probably. first one I don't even think had one. So uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's better than this. That's better than this. It still feels like a Friday movie. Like I really think even though we don't have a lot of Jason, I, I the cadence of it, the pacing, it still feels you Friday. You want to know what this feels like to me? <laughs> a better version of Freddy's Nightmare. Of Freddy's final nightmare. Again, though, that was 1991. Like we're, yeah, we're like, only. That's what it's, I mean. It, it's, I mean, it's, we we talked about maybe doing a deep dive on horror in the 90s because it it really falls off the yeah, deep end until the late mid the late mid 90s, like yeah. 96 with Scream and a few other things. There's a couple gems in there, but but then again, it changed. It's yeah. not the same thing that we were that we that, were getting the, all the these norm. movies. And I mean, Jason started getting tired, and I think that's what this movie's trying to do. They're trying to change up Jason because he was getting tired well, then, but but in psychological like, kind of horror stuff like that like dramas everyday action heroes th that became the norm and so that this kind of fell apart and, and this yeah. movie didn't do great it, it didn't do well uh, in the I box office but I mean I don't uh, see I, that as a <laughs> I don't I I can completely see why I I, I, don't, I still like this movie and this movie not only with the Evil Dead tie with the yes. Necronomicon the end of this movie is I mean terrible. Uh, the oh, actual and the the cover. Oh, focus on it. It says, it says um, <laughs> this has the most incredible ending we've ever seen. Fuck you, Fangoria. <laughs> <laughs> the last ten seconds. Yeah, and that's that's the only. Freddy Krueger's yeah. hand pops Freddy, out of the sand and grabs, grabs Jason the mask. mask which, by the way, down. Kane Hodder plays J 
Freddy's hand. Which, he did? Which makes him, like, the only guy to wear He's the like, glove other and than the, Freddy. And the mask. Like, uh, yeah. So, like, it's 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 there, which is a very oh, cool that's thing. that's kind of interesting. But, uh... And what's funny enough is that was their idea. That was kind of like their build up to Freddy yeah, vs. Jason. This but it was supposed to like this another, is nine, like, nine years. Wow. It was nine years that it took. And they had to go through the mastery of Jason X first. <laughs> it's got that tag. It's got the Necronomicon tag, which uh, like basically leads to the Ash vs. Freddy vs. Jason comics. comic, which is a rad comic. If you haven't read it, check it out. It's awesome. It's it's got a great mythos around it. It's got good kills. It's got this. Yes, there's obvious fucking flaws to this garbage heap but for me i like four i like six i like one i kind of like three and i like jason goes to hell yeah. jason goes to hell for me is one of my one of the better ones it's better i mean five is oh, i fucking hate five uh it's better than seven it's better than eight you disagree with that because you're fucking no. wrong uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay all right, so in our ratings, what would you give this movie out of my seven i mean i'm still probably going with a three like I realized I probably should have give eight a one. I thought about it later. Eight. I f what did we give eight? You oh, no, gave you, it a three. I oh, gave yeah, it a two. Right, yeah. Um, I oh, should have given dude, it a one. I could watch Jason Takes Manhattan over this. Admittedly, I'd have to skip a little bit, like the first like twenty <laughs> minutes of that movie. But I like that one better because I just that was that was the best Jason experience for me besides six. Four was good, but I just die, die. Yeah, I don't know. I just think that. Kane, I, I think, I think, I think yeah. I think Kane Hodder just had the best. Okay. Kane Hodder had his his murder I mean, boner on. Uh, he doesn't have yeah, it. In I, this we, movie. I, we talked about. It. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, he's got it in X. They think Black Panther did this first. He was it just X. Oh, we're gonna piss off so many people. Oh, so you're gonna give it a three? You're gonna give it a three out of six. I'm gonna give it a two. I'm, I'm surprised you got that high. But we're yeah. back on pack where I yeah. rate these movies higher than you. <laughs> yeah. So that means we are now three away from Freddy vs. Jason. Jason X, the grand opus masterpiece. <laughs> and then the Jason remake, remake. with Jared Padalecki. And then Jason versus Freddy, Freddy. Freddy versus Jason. We get Freddy. Mm. Finally, this we're almost there. We'll we're try to we'll try to keep a smaller there. gap from uh, yeah, but from happening. Again. But I can definitely say uh, when we do do Freddy versus Jason, it's going to be a long one. Yeah, we'll uh, we got some fun stuff. We got yeah. a few. We got some good things up our sleeve mm -hmm. for that one. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.